Welcome back, y'all. I'm showing off my Iron Leaves team today. Now, Iron Leaves has a signature move, Psyblade, which is pretty insane. When used on electric terrain, Psyblade is boosted to 120 base power. On top of that, Iron Leaves Quark Drive gives it an attack boost to boost it another 30%. And on top of that, we have Psychic Hera, which will double the power of Psyblade. To set up electric terrain, we don't have Maridon yet, we never got Tapu Koko, and the little Pincurchin guy just isn't good. So we're setting up with Thunderous. Prankster boosted electric terrain, gets it up, is also great for stopping Psy Spam. Now to take advantage of the electric terrain as well, we've got an Iron Hands, which usually doesn't be using its ability, but when it has the boost and it's on electric terrain, that wild charge can, charge can do some insane damage. We've also got Sunny Day on the Thunderous, so a couple things that can take advantage of that are this Choice Specs Fluttermane, which will get the speed boost from Protosynthesis in the Sun, and Incineroar, which I've invested a little bit of attack in uh, and can do some insane damage with Flare Blitz. Otherwise, it's a pretty normal set, but I've also teched on Snarl to have the Psy Spam matchup be a little bit better, because I'm always worried about that. In our last slot, just to round things out, we've got a Primarina. It's a Throat Spray set, it's got Ice Beam, it's just pretty good all around. And that finishes out the Firewater Grass Core, even though our Iron Leaves doesn't have Leaf Blade. We're just going Psy Blade, Close Combat, Swords Dance, and Protect, because that's better coverage. Psychic and Grass does not really help you. Uh, but anyway, I hope you like it, and let's get into some battles. All right, let's see what this Psyblade can do. They do have an Incineroar. That'll slow us down a little bit. Uh, they have a King Gambit, so we might not want to consider bringing our Incineroar. They also have Araquanid, Porygon 2, Hydrapple, and a Fluttermane of their own. They're likely going to want to set up Trick Room. I think their most likely lead is Porygon 2 and Incineroar. So what do we have that can stop Porygon 2 and Incineroar? Primarina is pretty good against Incineroar lead. And it can actually take a hit from that water bug. So this might be a Primarina game for sure. Iron Leaves does seem okay maybe in the bag, but not as a lead here. Iron Hands could be pretty good. Thunderous could be pretty good. Just throwing out Wild Bolt Storms. We're not going to be able to stop the trick room, I don't think. We don't have a taunt. A lead of our own Incineroar could slow them down a bit. We've got a much faster Incineroar than they do, most likely. So I might do that. I might just go with Incineroar Primarina, fake them out, and start hitting. Uh, we're going to bring Iron Leaves because it's the cool thing to do. And Iron Hands is our last. Yeah, Iron Hands could probably do okay inside the Trick Room. We do have a little bit of a faster Hands. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, did you lead exactly what I said you would? No, it's Incineroar and Fluttermane. That isn't what I expected at all. Okay. We get our Intimidate first, that confirms we are the faster Incineroar. As expected. Nobody puts as much in Incineroar as I do. We have Snarl to slow down Fluttermane, but I think what we need to do first is just fake out and get our throat spray popping. Terra Water on Incineroar, Terra Dragon on Primarina. We don't need that right now. So yeah, just throw out a Hyper Voice. Force their Incineroar to react to this. This is some information that their cat is going to have to react to. They can see as well as I can that I'm the faster one. Yep, and they're out of here. Is this straight into a Raquinid to take the water move? It is, actually. Okay. And the camera doesn't want to look at it. Okay. Just get the fake out. They Moonblast into our Prim, which does a ton! Oh my goodness. And we get a special attack drop. That is not good. And that was a crit on Araquidus, so that wasn't going to do any damage. Okay. Now where to go from here? 
We most likely are faster than that Araquanid. We could parting shot it out. But Primarina would go down to a Moonblast. We could protect Prim and parting shot out here if we wanted to. I would be a little bit concerned about a clear amulet on the Araquanid though. And who would I want to go into? It would be nice to have Iron Hands in, but I don't want to take a possible liquidation. So I'm gonna party I'm gonna parting shot Fluttermane and I'm just gonna protect for now. I think after one parting shot we might be able to take the next moon blast. Alright, so Fluttermane, it does Moonblast the Incineroar this time. Good read. And another special attack trap. Fluttermane just be getting that. Okay. Okay, but we take it. We're alright. And let's get Incineroar out of here. Fluttermane, you are weakened. And then if they are Moonblasting that slot, are they just predicting the Protect and doubling into this slot? I think that's okay. I mean, no matter what they do, we can live on our Sash. So go Iron Leaves. And it was just a liquidation for that, which does less than half. Amazing. Okay. Iron Leaves, do you have the high special defense that Verizian has? Now that's pretty good special defense. Can you take a Moon Blast when this thing took just over half? 187, 136. You're a little weaker, but they're at minus one now. You might be able to take a Moon Blast, actually. Pre-Marina took a hundred, the next one, about. Uh, so the next one should be, what is that? Two thirds, 67 damage. A little bit more than that. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's throw off a side blade into Flutter Main and just Hyper Voice again. All right, do we eat it? We do eat it. Go Iron Leaves. Very cool move. And Hyper Voice finishes off the Flutter Main. Thank you, Pre Marina. Thank you very much. And now it's a lunge this time. Okay, yeah, Iron Leaves are going down to that. That's four times super effective. But you got your move off. I'm proud of you. Now we know they still have Incineroar. I don't want my hands intimidated yet. So we're just gonna go into our Incineroar, see if they had the clear amulet to begin with. And they also go into their Incineroar. Okay. That's fine. And it was clear amulet. Okay, I'm glad I didn't try to parting shot that out earlier. We've got the free fake out onto their Incineroar. They might not have brought the Trick Room out. I don't know who their last would be. They would have had King Gambit in here already. It might be Hydrapple. Our pre Marina speed is 81, so we know our Iron Hands is faster than their Spider. So I think I'm perfectly content to fake out their Incineroar. to terastalize, fake out their Incineroar, and throw out another Hyper Voice. I don't want Incineroar going down to a liquidation here, and I do think that's what they would throw at it. So we are gonna Terra Water and hope we can take it. Araquanid is pretty crazy. If we get our fake out, they immediately flinch, so they were going for fake out as well. And the neutral Hyper Voice doesn't do very much to their Incineroar, honestly. And they eat up a berry. Okay. Okay. And it was liquidation into our Incineroar, which we now eat. Thank you very much. Okay. What is the play now? There's not much point in doing anything but parting shot onto that Incineroar, I think. Just want to get out, get in for another Intimidate, get in for another Fake Out, bring in Iron Hands. And at the same time, 
might they swap out their Incineroar? I don't think Moonblast would take out Araquanid from here, so I'm just going to throw another Hyper Voice. As long as they keep letting me do it, I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, don't tell me this is King Gambit. Oh, it's just Hydrapple. That's perfectly fine. I am A-OK -okay with that. And I get my Incineroar out for another round of Fake Outs. And bring in Iron Hands for more Fake Outs. Now, if they're bringing that in, I guess they want Pre-Marina gone, so they're probably going to target that slot now. Get off our Hyper Voice, which does absolutely nothing to Hydrapple. Oh, and it's a Liquidation. Alright. This seems fine. They have not Terrastalized yet, and they pretty much have to on the Hydrapple now. But... I have the option of faking out something. And the Hydrapple is at minus one. I could fake out Hydrapple. No. I could. I could just send Wild Charge at Araquanid now. And I think I'll go for the Ice Beam and the Hydrapple. If they don't Terra, that'll rip them apart. The Araquanid just protects. Okay, that's the first time I've seen you do that. And they didn't terrestrialize the Hydrapple. Let's see what an Ice Beam can do to this thing. Not that much, honestly. And an Earth Power. Iron Hands eats that up reasonably. Alright, they must be Assault Vest. And they get a special defense drop. That's okay. Well then. It looks like we probably have two KOs for free here. Just a Wild Charge here, and an Ice Beam or Moon Blast and a Hydrapple. I'm leaning a little bit more towards Moon Blast. Yeah, I think I'm going with Moon Blast. Their best play might be to swap their Spider into Incineroar to get an Intimidate, and then Terrastalize their Hydrapple to try to live the Ice Beam or Moon Blast. And if they find it, that's great. I like this match. This match is a lot of hitting back and forth. A wide guard? Oh. You have protect and wide guard. That's interesting. But I'm not doing any spread moves. So you're gone. And you chose not to terrestrialize. Weird. You would have been safe from Hyper Voice if you didn't terrestrialize anyway. I would have expected Wide Guard plus Terra to save yourself, but that works. I'm perfectly fine with this. Now we'll just cycle out Iron Hands for our Incineroar, and we'll just protect this turn on Primarina, and that will lock up this game pretty easily. Good job, team. And Iron Leaves, you were here. You did one hit. That damage on the Fluttermane was really significant. And battle was just cancelled. Alright, they saw what was going on. Alright. Alright, here we are with the match, and it is Armourouge and Didi. Oh wow, no one uses that anymore. Alright, we've got Fluttermane, Armourouge, Indeedy, Torkoal, an Urshifu of some kind, and a Chen Pao. Chen Pao, I think, is a little weird on this team. Uh, but it's, I guess it's just there to pair up with the Urshifu? But that would only make sense if it's water, but they also have sun. So we need our anti psi spam immediately. And that's Incineroar. We have Snarl, we have Dark Typing. It is fantastic. We could also lead with Thunderous to turn off the psychic terrain entirely, which could benefit us. I don't hate that. Uh, I also don't hate Iron Hands, or Primarina, or Fluttermane. Iron Leaves is a little iffy, but if we're going to be setting up Electric Terrain anyway, it can do a ton of damage late game once we stall out Trick Room. Fluttermane is not the best at stalling out Trick Room because we're choiced, and we're going to get a speed boost from their sun, so we're going to be even worse in Trick Room, but it could be good against the Urshifu and the Chen Pao. Ooh. Primarina doesn't actually do much if sun goes up, so it's really between Iron Hands and Fluttermane. 
You know what? Iron Hands did great last time. Let's give Fluttermane a chance here. I do like it if they end up with going with the Chen Pao mode. But we'll see. This Fluttermane has 20 HP EVs and 228 defense. So it should be pretty good against the Chen Pao. And with Sun Up, we would be faster. But they go with Water Urshifu and Armor Rouge. Oh! Oh, I see. You're one of those U-turn, flip-turn, weakness policy things. You're gonna, you're gonna flip and you're gonna go into Indeedee. I could fake out to stop that. And then I could just throw a wild bolt in store. Uh, they could just swap directly into Indeedee to stop the fake out, but then that accomplishes what I wanted to accomplish anyway. They could swap into Indeedee and then go for just a Surging Strikes into Incineroar. That is the scariest idea. But if they do that, they leave themselves wide open to a Wild Bolt Storm. I think this is the play. They, they are going for that play, though. They're going straight after. Th this must be Indeedy. Yeah, they're blocking the fake out, and they're trying to take out Incineroar immediately. I can respect that. Now, do you go for a Terra? You do. Okay, they're go they're committing 900% to taking out this Incineroar. They think it's my only answer to size fam, when it is in fact not. Now, I do need to hit this Wild Bolt Storm, and I'm also curious. You must be Scarf on this kind of setup. You must be a Scarf Urshifu. You successfully blocked the fake out. Good job. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, Incineroar, you're not taking this, even with the Citrus Berry. But, they'll need to use all three. And that's two. And that is three. Alright, Incineroar, I guess I could have considered Terrastalizing you. But let's hit this Wild Bolt Storm. Yes, we connect with both. And Urshifu is deleted. That is fantastic. That is some great news. Now we have a couple options. They would probably go for back into Armor Rouge and set up Trick Room. We could... I think Iron Leaves is a little better in that case because we have Protect on it. And I want to set up Electric Terrain. Yes, they just go right back out into Armor Rouge. That's fine by me. So we are going to... Am I about to throw the meanest side blade? Yes, I am. Though I am worried that they are probably Rocky Helmet on that Indeedee. But anyway, I that's what I got. I'm going to throw the meanest side blade. I'm going to throw it at Armor Rouge, actually. And set up Electric Terrain. Because then if they follow me, I get to hit the Indeedee. And if Indeedee goes down, they do not have their terrain. So even if they have Trick Room, we'll be in a slightly better position. Fully committing to this side blade, doing tons of damage. It is just a follow me. Presumably then, it would be a Trick Room, but I would be perfectly okay with you just going for Expanding Force right away. In fact, that might even be better for me. We get the attack boost. We get the electric terrain boost. We get the double stab boost from Terra. And this Indeedee took that really well, actually. <laughs> That's a lot of damage for a resisted hit, though. And they go for Heat Wave, which we take very comfortably, actually. Thunderous gets a burn, but as long as it's not on the other thing, that is okay. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Now they might want to swap out their Indeedee. They do have potentially a dark type remaining, but nothing else on their team can take a side blade. So I think the play is just a side blade at the Armor Rouge and throw out Wild Bolt Storm. I don't see any reason to set up Sun. I don't see any reason to Thunder Wave. 
I'm just gonna do damage. Now, if they're really crazy, they could wide guard and trick room with their Ndidi, but I don't think they have that. The Ndidi definitely has trick room, but the Armor Rouge might not at all, since it's most likely the weakest policy weak armor set. Okay, they're just redirecting. That's fine. Wild Bolt Storm picks you off. And then we get a Psyblade into their Armor Rouge. Which would trigger their weak armor if they have it. So they'll be fast next turn. Nope, they're just gone. Goodbye. What is a resistance when you have all these damage multipliers? We're out here doing crazy math. Armor Rouge has good defense, too! Wow. And then Fluttermane is your last. Alright, that gives me a 90% chance to just end this game right now. All I have to do is hit a Thunder Wave. Okay, I held my breath there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Get him, Iron Leaves. Critical hit! Goodbye, Fluttermane. And that is a sweep for Iron Leaves. Amazing. Alright, I showed you the power of Iron Leaves last match. Let's keep this momentum going. We are fighting for Rigorath Blood Moon, which is a very strong combo nowadays. But also we're fighting Iron Bundle, Alola Ninetales, and Chi Yu. Now that's a scary combo. They're gonna set up snow, they're gonna just blizzard spam, and they're gonna have Chi Yu to boost that even more. And then they have Water Ogre Pond as their last slot, most likely to help Farigraph set up Trick Room by following me. I absolutely need Incineroar's Snarl here. Snarl will mess up five out of six of those. But the Water Ogre Pond is a little scary, but we have Intimidate for that. Uh, they don't. They do have something that can stop Fake Out. They have the Farigraph. Is Iron Leaves good here? Iron Leaves is not faster than Iron Bundle. It's not faster than Ninetales. But we have Thunderous to turn off the snow. So I think we go with Thunderous. And if we're setting up Sun anyway, we probably want Fluttermane. And then in the last slot, probably Iron Hands this time. Or do we bring Leaves again? Leaves is never going to be in an ad advantageous position, but we might set up Terrain. Iron Hand seems a little better. It can take the special moves really well, and it can dish out some big damage in return. Especially if we get up Electric Terrain. So that's what I'm going to go with. Locking that in. Now with Incineroar Snarl, I'm perfectly happy to see their special attackers. But Ogre Pond is a little scary. Let's see if they go with the Trick Room mode, or if they just go with the Snow mode right away. They're going with the Snow mode immediately. Alright, we have to set up Sun. But then after we set up Sun, what do we do? Do I set up Sun and go for the Snarl? Because I am risking... Alright, they are booster energy. And is it speed? Yeah, they're booster speed on the bundle. I am still risking Thunderous pretty significantly if I just don't terastalize it. I have a lot of HP. Maybe I can take it. I think I might be able to take it. And then is it better to just eliminate something, or is it better to snarl? Because Flare Blitz will do a lot. I would feel a lot more comfortable if the Iron Bundle went down. But nothing in the back is particularly scared of it. Leaving Ninetales on the field is probably better. Because that gives us a lot of good momentum. So I think I'm just going to Snarl Sunny Day first. They just protect the bundle anyway. Okay. That's good for me. And we set up Sun. Yeah, it seems like they would have been okay with Ninetales going down. They just go for the Aurora Veil. That's fine. You fail. And then I throw off a Snarl. So now the Ninetales is 100% leaving. If we can predict what it's going into, we could get a big hit off on that slot. I like that idea. So what they're going to go into... It could be Chiyu 
Chi Yu could take a fire move. But I might try to take. No, if I'm gonna throw a Wild Bolt Storm anyway, then I should throw a Flare Blitz into this slot. I'll throw a Snarl. I think Wild Bolt Storm is gonna catch a lot of good stuff on this. And there's very few things that want to take a Snarl when they come in. So that's what we're going with. They just throw off a Freeze Dry. They don't switch the Ninetales, actually. Thunderous takes that. And Blizzard double connects. We are not going to get the Wild Bolt Storm off. All right, they, they risked it, and it paid off for them. And now we get a Snarl into both of you, weakening your damage output significantly. And now that we've done that, let's put on pressure. Let's bring in Fluttermane, and let's start blowing things up. Because who is your fairy type switch in? Tell me, what on this team can switch in comfortably to a Dazzling Gleam? I don't think anything can. So I'm gonna throw the Dazzling Gleam. And do I parting shot out? Or do I throw a Flare Blitz? Because nothing wants to take a Flare Blitz either. But I could also just keep up Snarl pressure on any swap in. I think I'll keep up the Snarl pressure and just start throwing gigantic Dazzling Gleams across the board. Here we go. They're staying in again. I don't know what they're expecting to be able to accomplish. I guess they could have Encore on the Iron Bundle. Or the Ninetales. But I'm already Snarling anyway. Okay, they just throw off the Freeze Dry. It bounces off. Cannot freeze in the sun. And we get a big Dazzling Gleam. Choice Facts. Iron Bundle is gone. And Ninetales is left on the field, which I prefer. And they just throw off a Blizzard. They keep hitting those. That's four Blizzards they've hit in the sun. And now they're even more weakened. If they're fishing for a freeze, they don't know that the sun blocks that. But now they only get to bring in one threat full of pressure. And it's Ferrigarath. All right, now, that suggests to me that they brought Blood Moon in the back. So I'm gonna throw everything I have at this Ferrigarath right now. I'm gonna Flare Blitz, and I'm locked into Dazzling Gleam, so I'm Dazzling Gleaming. If we can get this Ferrigarath gone, they cannot get Trick Room. Dazzling Gleam does over half. Are you the Citrus Berry build? They are a Citrus Berry. All right, let's see if they can take a Flare Blitz in the sun from this slightly attack invested Incineroar. Oh, and they hang on with one HP. Why does everything hang on with one HP? And they get off their Trick Room. Man. Okay. Here comes the bear. And they are gonna do their best to sweep us up here. We already threw Terra on the Flutter main. We don't have a single Protect left. So I'm going to throw a Snarl, and I'm going to throw a Dazzling Gleam, and I'm going to wish myself luck. They are Terrastalizing most likely the Bear. They want to get strong normal damage. I think they would go for Hyper Voice here. If Hyper Voice can pick off the Incineroar, they have a good shot at winning this match. And they're going for Helping Hand, so they're fully committing. If they get the double KO here, they might have it because of the Ferrigarath living on 1 HP. Let's see. All right, here we are back with the rental code. This Iron Leaves did amazing. It was knocking out Psychic types in that second match. Uh, we ended up going two, two and one. Uh, the last match that Ferrigarath lived just on a sliver, got up the Trick Room, and there was just no way left we could stop that Blood Moon. But that's just what happens sometimes. You gotta live with it. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Team code is in the top there if you want to try out this Iron Leaves, which I highly recommend. It does insane damage. 
And uh, yeah, I'm Jordy. And uh, all right, peace. <laughs>